Hey YouTubers, it's uh, Tequila here and I am here to do an um, eyeshadow tutorial on these eyes. I call these my Weeping Willow eyes because I'm using the green and the willow is my favorite tree of all times. I love it. I love how it's flowed over. Um, I'll insert a, picture, insert a picture right now so you can see what a Weeping Willow looks like. Yes, so that is a weeping willow. It's my favorite tree. I like to sit underneath them and meditate under them. They're very relaxing. I feel like when their branches are hanging over, it kind of embraces you and calms you down. So I'm like, hey, let's do an eyeshadow tutorial on one. So this is what I've come up with. You got a little bit of gold glitter going on here in green. And all of these eyeshadows came from this palette, the True Blood palette. And I plan on doing two more tutorials with the same palette. So if you want to see how to get these eyes, it's very easy and very fast. Just stay tuned and watch. Okay, so I am going to start with NYX's Milk, of course. Anything, any base that you want to use would be fine, but I want to use this white base. It really makes the colors pop. Mm -hmm, so I'm put it over the eye, and I'm going to dot it. I'm not rubbing it, I'm dotting it. Okay, and next I'm going to be using my True Blood palette, which I'm not using in like six months. Seriously, I still have the plastic on the mirror. <laughs> use my True Blood palette, and I am going to use this pink right there. I'm trying to make it where you can see it in the light don't glare. And I'm going to apply that over my entire eye with this fluffy little brush here. I'm just going to put it all over, just like this, just a small thin coat. It just will help the um, colors glide on a lot easier. I'm going to come in with the green right there Where's it? beautiful green okay and I'm gonna use this flat shader brush here I'm gonna apply that on the lid and I'm just going up to where your crease goes into your eye right there And I'm going to be using Max 217. This is a fluffy little brush right there. And I'm going to grab some of this brown. It's like a taupe maybe color right there. Darker version of beige maybe. I'm going to grab some of that and tap it because it's kind of flaky. And I'm going to use that to blend up the green. And I'm blending upward. Upward. I'm going to drop my brush. Upward. Okay. And you'll notice that you might lose some of the dark green. Um, we'll go back on there when we're done. Okay. At this point, I want to go ahead and add my eyebrows. And I am going to be using the dark blue. Where's it at? There it is. Kind of looks black on here, but it's actually a really, really dark blue. And I'm going to fill in my eyelid with that. My eyelid? No, my eyebrow. And I'm just using this little slanted brush here that I got off of eBay. I don't even know what it's called, but that's what I'm using. Okay, so now I'm coming in with this, um, it's a Bobbi Brown slanted eyeshadow brush and I'm grabbing that same dark blue that I filled in my eyebrow with I'm grabbing some of that with this brush and I'm coming in this side let me get my mirror so I can sh tell you what I'm doing and I'm just going to make a line and kind of bring in some depth into the eyeshadow that much just a little bit Okay. Just a little depth to the eye. You see it kind of levels it out. And if you have eyeshadow past it, 
that's what a makeup um, wipe is for. Okay, at this point is where you would go in with your brush and reapply wherever you lost the green. And I'm bringing my brush up this way, so I make sure I get really close to the brow, I mean the eyebrow. My face is all over the place this morning, to the eyelash. And I'm just pressing, not rubbing, pressing. Come back in with the shading brush that we use to apply the brown. And I'm going to grab just a tidbit more of the brown and then kind of even out all this green and blue. And just kind of give it the rub around. And you see I'm not pressing on my eyelid, I'm just rubbing it. Just like so. I'm going to have to grab another palette because I want to use white. And I'm using my Sugar Pills Taco which is the whitest white that I own. Use this little bitty brush here. See, a real small brush. Grab some of that white and I'm going to highlight the bone. Just like so. You see how it just like pops that brow out. And then I'm going to add some in the inner corner of the eye. in this eye as well. I'm going to grab a makeup wipe and clean up all the mess. This is why I don't do my foundation until after I do my eyes because I always have um, fallout. So first of all, I am going to add black eyeliner. I'm using Urban Decay's Perversion. Is it? Yeah. 24-7. It's one of the best eyeliners that I've used other than the one I get for a dollar, which they don't sell anymore, which I'm very upset about. Okay. And next I'm adding this glitter, this gold glitter eyeliner that I have. Okay, and this I am just putting above the, um, because it's, it's just glitter. It just makes the glitter stick. And I'm just putting it right in the corner just so I can have a little bit of a glittery touch. See, just a little bit of a glitter. And next, this is where you would apply your eyelashes. I'm not adding any eyelashes, but if you want to add your falsies, then you would do that now. But I am going to use um, Maybelline. Is it Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline's Colossal. And they're waterproof black. Okay, so here are the eyes. I am going to go and apply my face, and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back with my bright red lips, and here are the eyes. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see them. Well, it just actually came forward. I didn't zoom in. You can see the gold. This is very shining, and it's just a very, it's like, you can wear it neutrally, or you can wear it out and dress it up even more. But yeah, this is my Weeping Willow look from my favorite tree. And I am going to have two more tutorials with this very palette coming up. I hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys at the next video. Blessed be, guys.